Sonny Garcia is one of the biggest personalities in the surfing world. Born Vincent Senin Garcia and dubbed Sonny for his happy disposition, Sonny G has been lighting up the surf scene throughout his extensive career. Always playing to his own tune, we were fortunate to sit down with the 2000 ASP world champ and current ISA Masters world champ to chat about his life and undying love for the sport of surfing. Yeah, you know, I knew at a young age that, that I wanted to surf. I loved surfing. And, you know, I was going to do whatever it took, you know, to, to get wherever it was. Came from a poor family, no money. My parents got divorced when I was five. I lived in Miley Point my whole life. My mom still lives in the same house. I was two streets away from the beach. My best friends surfed. My sisters surfed. I think my dad used to surf before. You know, real son was my aunt. So eventually I ended up surfing. Although it was a rough road growing up on the west side of Oahu, that never stopped Sonny from succeeding. I went to, to Goodwill to get my first surfboard. If I wanted to surf Macaw, I'd walk five miles from Miley to Macaw. You know, no food, no nothing, just board and shorts and barefoot. I think I won my first event at 10 years old, and I was hooked. When I was young, Dane Kilo was always my favorite surfer, you know, as far as I can remember. I just wanted to do turns like Dane, you know, powerful. Then you had guys like, you know, Curran and Aki, you know, and Martin Potter. I didn't want to surf like Curran. I didn't want to surf like Potts. You know, I didn't want to surf like Aki. I wanted to surf like me, but doing what they were doing. No success comes without a competitive spirit, and Sonny has plenty of it. I hate losing. All surfers have that. You know, wanting to surf better than the next guy, wanting to do better off the lift, wanting to get a better barrel. I don't know, surfers in general, I think, just are just, you know, we're just kids. You know, we, we love doing what we do, and there's something about just getting in the ocean and cleansing ourselves of everything else that's going on in the world. After huge success at a young age, a real life dilemma quickly came Sonny's way with criminal consequences. Went to jail for taxes. Overall, it was a good experience. I wasn't happy to be there, but I'm happy that it happened. Bad habits die hard. You don't realize how good you have it until they take it all away from you. With Hawaii in his heart and undeniable fan support, there's nothing Sonny can't conquer. When I was in prison, I got letters every day just, you know, wishing me well, you know, just encouraging me to come out and do good things. You can do wrong and be forgiven, it seems like, or at least for me. With six Triple Crowns to his name, it's a known fact that Sonny is the biggest threat when it comes to competing in Hawaii. Hawaii is just a great place, you know. The one thing about Hawaii is I always feel like you can win at Sunset, at Haleiwa, at Pipe. That's the one place I know for sure in the next couple of years, I can still beat those guys. Given, given the right condition and wave size, I can give anybody a run for their money in Hawaii. You can either love to hate him or hate to love him, but there's something about Sonny that just makes you want to watch. You get the bad rap for, you know, doing stuff, but do I, am I sorry for it? Hell no. We all suffer consequences for the choices we make in life. We all do. I don't like fighting. I hate fighting. I hate that feeling. But I also hate people just blatantly going out of the way to be just dumb. The world would be such a better place if everybody would just give each other respect. If I can make a kid smile, make, make people happy, you know, sign autographs, take photos. Till this day, it's still weird, but I'm not gonna yell. I'm cool guy, people. The only thing I can do is be the best that I can be. Nothing more, nothing less. And, you know, that's, that's all I try to do. I just like to serve. <laughs>